Aisha Lane, and I'm here with Papercraft Essentials editor Rhea Claire. Hi, Rhea. Hi. You all right? I'm good. I'm so cold. <laughs> it is. It, it is, is freezing. <laughs> I, I love it, though. I really do. <laughs> so we are here to talk about issue 165, which is we over are. here. Jam-packed, as always, with good stuff. Yes, yeah, lots of Christmas goodies in this one, but also stuff for birthdays and all occasions and stuff for everybody. Because we can't forget those winter birthdays. No. I feel like winter Birth birthdays yeah. get forgotten. <laughs> birthdays <laughs> still happen in December, so. Yeah, and we have a festive friend stamp set. It's so cute. Yes, yeah, so you have two dies and 22 stamps, and you will also receive a 64-page paper pack Yay. with coordinating toppers and sentiments and scenic backgrounds and just everything that you need to start your Christmas crafting. So this issue we have inspiration from Vanessa Hodgson on page 15 using your gift and your papers. These are more contemporary designs, there's some really pretty stamped designs as well, I think this one is my favourite. Gorgeous. And lots of inky backgrounds and just really contemporary techniques that you can use with your gift. And then also on page 80 we have more traditional Christmas designs, again using your gift and your papers. These are super, super cute. They're designed by Christine Smith. Um, there are some really clever ways to use your reindeer, such as this Christmas is Coming card, which is so adorable. That is our cover card. <laughs> it's so cute. And there is also a step-by-step -step guide on how to get the perfect placement when you are using your coordinating dice. And what's your favourite feature this month? My favourite feature this month is probably the Kaisercraft Cut Out and Keep using the Wonderland collection um, by Jo Boland. I just think they are so, so pretty. The collection's got some lovely wintry colours, again, so not super Christmas, not red and green, right. but traditional. There's some turquoise and some teal and some blue. Really, really perfect for masculine Christmas cards if you needed some inspiration for that. I just think they're absolutely beautiful and definitely something that I would want to give. I yeah, I so. really love Kaiser Craft in there. Their designs are kind of more on the simple side. They're so elegant. And yeah. I just, I like, I love them. Yeah, they're, they are really good. I think this is my favourite card with the stamped um, sentiments yes. to make it into a tree. The joy card. Beautiful. It's so, so pretty. So don't miss those on page 47. And what are the techniques that readers can expect to learn this month? This issue, we have two techniques for you to learn. So our beginner's guide is on reactive distress ink. And this is where you can achieve a really artsy watercolour effect with your Distress Ink. The designs are really contemporary, perfect for birthdays and all occasions. And they're really simple but yet quite effective. And there's also a step-by-step -step guide where Kim has taught, taught you through how to achieve the look. And there's even a, a Christmas card if you wanted to try that out for your Christmas crafting. Nice. And on page 65, we have our masterclass on partial die cut windows. So you can create wintry Christmas scenes. Like we were saying before, they don't have to be just for Christmas. You can also make some really lovely winter birthday cards from them. They are so pretty. Emma Fuse has designed these. And there's also a step-by-step -step guide so you can follow how to master the technique. And there's even a bonus card on our blog. I love that because you can make some dimensional product. Like yes. it, it can look like a seat, like a three D scene, but also you can do with this technique. You can do like a quick shaker card. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, it's, it's really, cover. really versatile and definitely worth a try. Is there anything you don't want readers to miss that maybe you forgot to mention? Yes. So <laughs> in this issue again is our Papercraft Magazine's Designer of the Year competition. If you haven't heard about it already, this is a competition that we run every year across all of our Papercraft titles. Four of you have the chance to win over £14,000 worth of craft prizes, which is really exciting, and also places on our design team. If you are interested in entering, you can find the details on page 37. Entries close on the 7th of December, so you've still got loads of time yes. to enter. <laughs> um, and also, if you want to hear from a couple of last year's winners, there's interviews on page 38, so you can see what they've been up to since they won the competition last year, and also if they have any advice if you are thinking of entering this year. And good luck to everybody that's yes. entering. And also if you are thinking about subscribing to Papercraft Essentials, on page 24 you can find out about our latest subscription gift, which is a free card making magic die bundle worth over £42. Amazing. It's so cool. So you have everything from sentiments and tags and there's a cute little Christmas tree and also a bauble die. Um, everything you need for your Christmas crafting. I love it, and I've had to play with this bundle. Actually, my cards are right there. Yay! <laughs> but 
but if you you need to take advantage of this offer because it expires. Yes, it, it has an expiration. Date. It is not on <laughs> forever. The offer expires on the 18th of October, so don't miss that one. And if you're not quite ready to subscribe, no worries. You can grab the individual issue of Papercraft Essentials, which is 165. Yes. And there's a few places to get that. You can get that at craftstash.co.uk, moremags.com. And you can also get it from any large supermarket, WH Smith or craft retailer. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Rhea, for stopping by. You're welcome. Thank you. And we'll see you very soon. You yeah. will. All right. Bye. bye.